So we've just finished our last session here in Strasbourg before the summer recess. Um, this morning's session involved debates on uh, breaches of human rights law in various countries and then voting on a number of resolutions. Now the voting itself happens super quickly and in fact one of my colleagues from the UK from another party stood up and asked the chair to go a little bit more slowly so that all of the new MEPs who make up about two-thirds of the chamber I think could just have a little bit of time to get to grips with the system. Some of the voting is done by raising your hand, some of it's done electronically. Now we did have a practice a couple of weeks ago but the speed of the thing is really rapid because there are lots of amendments to vote on on each particular resolution. So we work with things called voting list which is a sheet of paper produced by our political group to indicate which way the group would recommend that we vote. As Greens, of course, we're not whipped. All of our votes are completely free. We're free to vote with our conscience, but it's actually very useful to have the list. But it's not that we haven't given any thought to this, far from it. We've actually spent quite a lot of time this week in group meetings discussing these resolutions and our positions on the different amendments. And each group has somebody called a rapporteur or a shadow rapporteur who engages in discussions with representatives from the other political groups to come up with the text in the first place. I've just recorded a short video with my colleague Tineke Strick from the Netherlands who was um, our lead on the motion on uh, the situation on the US-Mexico border and I'll post that separately. She explains in that video some of the ins and outs of how the negotiations between the political groups go. So that's it from Strasbourg for the moment until September but I'll keep reporting back on what I'm doing in the West Midlands over the coming weeks.